Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap Top 55 Interview Question and Answer Series. This is the fifth and the last part of this particular series. Make sure that you have seen, um, seen all the previous four parts so that you entirely learn and master Bootstrap 5 and crack that interview. Before we get started, I'll request you to please do check out the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist that I have on my channel. I have covered over 40 plus hands-on tutorials and live examples. After that playlist, I'm sure and confident that you will be able to learn and master Bootstrap end-to-end. -end. All right, you can get all the PDF book, the ebook of all these interview question and answer series together in one PDF book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the first question. Explain types of lists supported by Bootstrap. Bootstrap supports three types of lists such as ordered list, unordered list and definition list. Okay, you already know probably ordered list and unordered list from CSS, right? An ordered list will give you numbers, right? In a sequential order. Unordered list will give you a, by default, it's a bullet list, right? Definition list is a type of list. Each item can consist of both DT and DD elements. DT stands for definition term and then DD stands for actual definition, okay, detail. So these are the three different types of lists that are available as part of Bootstrap. How will you, how can you create a tabbed pills or vertical pills navigation in Bootstrap? Okay, now again, interesting question because we have seen multiple questions in the previous episodes on navbar. So nav is something that you can use in a different variations. For one, to create tabbed navigation, we'll use dot nav tabs class. Okay, so it's a basic unordered list, and you'll assign the class nav, and then inside we'll write nav tabs along with it. What it does is that it will give a tab structure. If you want a pill kind of a look and feel, again you will write an unordered list with dot nav class, and inside that we'll assign nav pills to that particular element. Similarly, vertical pills, if you want that, you will add dot .nav and dot .nav pills classes. Same thing, navigate nav, if you know navigation, you can have all these variations that you can explain to the interviewer. Explain floating labels in Bootstrap, okay? Now, this is something create beautifully simple form labels, right, that float over your input fields. When you click on it, the label goes little up, right? That Those are called floating labels. How do you create them? You give the class form floating and then type and then give the placeholder and the give the label. Okay. Now, once you give this label and you add this class, which is form hyphen floating, the, the text label will go up every time user clicks on any input field. Those are called the floating labels in bootstrap. Explain validations in bootstrap forms right now. Providing valuable actionable feedback is very important to users, especially with respect to the form validations. Now, form validations can be applied via two pseudo classes, right? Now, a lot of times we do this using JavaScript and not rely on CSS, okay? Please mention this to the interviewer as well, that this may this is not an accurate way to validate, okay? These are additional things that you can put checks, but this is not the only thing that you will put in your form. But just because what it does is it just flips between valid class and invalid class. Okay. All it does is uh, changing the class of it based on certain criteria. But for example, let's say required, right? Basic HTML5 validations. Uh, if it's a number field, you cannot enter text. If it's, let's say, a required field, you can't leave it empty. So those are very restricted kind of uh, um, validations. But those are the basic ones available as part of Bootstrap forms. The way it works is needs validation is the class you will add and then you will give required, not required, number, email, etc. as part of HTML5 properties and inside the class we'll write invalid feedback and then it will know that it needs validation. Okay, Very basic stuff that Bootstrap provides. There is not much you can do with respect to validations but just the basic check to remember two important classes invalid and valid it will flip between those two based on html5 form validation so if you know html5 form validations you are good on the validation side of bootstrap 
explain range in bootstrap forms now range is nothing but you can just uh, drag from one uh, element right it's a control basically where you can apply um, and say starting range to maximum range right so it's a input type equal to range class equal to form range now this is just a drag of between values that you can provide okay that's called a range that you can use explain figure in bootstrap okay anytime you need to display a piece of content like an image with an optional caption or you might want to add something in your element in your web page like you're prototyping you're building a POC you want something it's always a good thing to wrap your images inside the figure uh, element the reason being that it's a semantic kind of a code and it would be better for the search engines as well so how do you do that you write the figure tag class equal to figure and inside that you write the image figure image and then the caption for the image okay this is a good way to display elements and el image will be displayed and the label will be di displayed below it explain z index in bootstrap now this is something that everybody should be aware all ui developers no matter whether you're working with bootstrap or not everybody should know about z index it's not part of the grid system but it plays an important role in lot of components right let's say you want to bring a component on top of overlay on top of other elements that's where we will use z index property so whenever you have overlapping borders within components bootstrap uses a low single digit okay like one two three for default again if you have lot of elements hike up the number and it would start showing up on top of them okay so remember why do we use z index it is to position an element overlapping on other elements we will use z index it gets the priority and the element will be placed on top explain off canvas in bootstrap now off canvas is nothing but if you want to build a hidden sidebars in your project right like say a click on it and the sidebar goes away or a shopping cart which shows the summary etc these are some of the use cases where you can use off canvas now it's a sidebar component which gets toggled like a click you show and click on hide right think of it off canvas is nothing but a sidebar which is hidden okay and you can always bring it up based on any interaction like a click show click hide right toggle basically and those are done by the triggers and triggers are nothing but a event which like click etc explain placeholders in bootstrap placeholders are let's say you're loading some data right uh, you might want to indicate that some data is loading while you're fetching the data from API you can put a small placeholder like a glow like if you see, you see that mostly on YouTube when there is a video trying to search and load um, in the search results you would see that now same thing you can also replicate using placeholder hyphen glow when you put this the entire thing will become like a glow while it is data is being loaded once it is loaded the data will be replaced very visually appealing a uh, lot of websites use this now so it is slowly becoming a norm so make sure that you know about this practically also all right explain clear fix in bootstrap now we know what happens and how the elements get aligned right if you're not I'll suggest that you check out the CSS properties called float and clear float means we tell which direction it has to go in left or right same thing now what happens is when you start giving a direction let's say you say an element as float left everything that follows it will start going towards left unless we clear it right so that's where you we use the clear property of CSS bootstrap calls it clear fix so we can easily clear any floated content within a container by adding the utility class clear fix M make sure that you learn about floats and clear in CSS because clear fix is doing exactly same thing okay nothing different it will whatever elements are floating when you use clear fix it will stop and break that chain okay explain text truncation in bootstrap yet another very useful um, utility class very underused but I would suggest that you start using it in your applications let's say there is very lot lot of long text right and you want only certain characters 
So you can just put a text hyphen truncate and it will start showing dot 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 if that width increases or overflows, right? So the class utility class is called text hyphen truncate. That way you can restrict the width of the content and any content that is overflowing will start showing as dot dot dot. That means there is more content to it. Important class, make sure that you check this out. Explain tooltips, right? Um, now tooltips, popovers, drop downs, all of these in Bootstrap will require you to use a library called Popper, right? Bootstrap depends on Popper to provide all such overs, okay, layovers or whatever you call them. So tooltips, popovers, drop downs in Bootstrap use Popper, okay? Now tooltips are like to provide a user experience like a suggestion or when user hovers on something you show a tooltip and show the message to right so those are very useful very helpful to the end user in terms of user experience you can position tooltips either at top bottom right left you can customize the look and feel also since they are using the contextual classes like you can have the uh, look and feel you can change the color background all of that by default it's the black color with white font small ones they have zero title lens are never displayed okay by default they're not displayed only on hover or something you will get to see the tooltip all right that brings us to the end of the series of bootstrap top 55 interview question answer series um, thank you all so much for joining and supporting this series i wish you all the best you can get the pdf copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com make sure you get your copy and if you have any questions reach out to me in the comment section or write to me email at surya.arad at gmail.com i'll be more than happy to help you i wish you all the best go ahead and crack that interview thank you so much for joining